Is this the biggest nest move ever? Today I'm moving my meat ant colony from here to here. Welcome back, ant enthusiasts. This is my meat ant colony. Just look at them. There's at least 500 ants in here. Check out all the pupae. They're really thriving in this nest. And there she is, the queen of the colony, Fiona. Isn't she beautiful? The heart and soul of this bustling community. Today, we have an exciting task ahead of us, moving our thriving meat ant colony into a brand new spacious wooden nest. Let's dive right in. So, here's the plan. I've sold this colony to a client who's just as passionate about ants as we are. To make their move as smooth as possible, we need to relocate them from their current setup to this stunning new wooden nest. This wooden nest is the biggest nest I've ever moved ants into, and it's a beast. Measuring 90 centimetres long and 30 centimetres wide, it's absolutely massive. But trust me, the meat ants are going to love it. These northern meat ants, also known as Iridomermex sanguineus, grow their colonies incredibly quickly. So this new nest will not only give them plenty of space to expand, but also mimic their natural habitat. They will need a large outworld to roam and discard their waste as well. And this kangaroo skull I picked up last time I was out west is a perfect addition to this outworld. So here they are in their outworld now, nice and calm and very happy. I'm about to send them mad by adding a new connection to allow them to explore the wooden nest. Let's start by gently coaxing the ants out of their old nest. This is one of our Waitong nests available through Antastic in Australia. The ants are happy in there and they have a bit of hydration caused by a heat pad. Let's run a T connection from the old nest to the new nest while of course still keeping our outworld connected. I'll take the black covers off the old Wai Tong nest to open the nest up to light, which they definitely won't like. I've also put a heat pad under this new wooden nest to make it more attractive for the colony. And it will also produce a bit of condensation that will mimic their true environment in the wild. First, the foraging workers will move. These ants are usually the first to explore new territories. Off they go to lead the way into the new nest. Now I've disturbed them. They've gone nuts. Look at them swarm. Look how they're racing into the outworld and then back along the tube. They're frantic with activity. They're moving their brood around now too, trying to protect them from perceived danger. Here's an interesting fact. Meat ants are known for their aggressive behavior when defending their territory. When threatened, they release a chemical alarm signal that rallies their mates to swarm and attack. Their coordinated defense is really quite intimidating and they have powerful mandibles that can deliver quite a pinch. So handle them with care, they will happily bite you. The first workers are exploring now. They will love the intricate tunnel system of this nest. Multiple chambers for brood rearing, food storage and living spaces. These ants are super common in Australia and their nests are often built in sunny, open areas and can be identified by the lack of vegetation and the presence of fine gravel or sand around the entrance. Like this, and in the wild their nests can extend kilometres in length and can house hundreds of thousands of ants. Next, the workers will start to move the brood, the larvae and pupae. This is a delicate process because we need to ensure the young ants are transported safely without any harm. The brood is the future of the colony, so they must be extra careful. All right, now it's time for the most critical part. Hoping Fiona, our queen, moves into the new nest happily and she accepts it. The entire colony's survival depends on her. There is a chance of her rejecting the new nest and going back out to the outworld and choosing to go underground. But I didn't have to worry. She has gone over within 24 hours. I reckon she loves her new home. The workers are already following her, which is a great sign. They're recognizing the new nest as their home and soon they'll start organizing and establishing their new chambers. So now they've had a couple of days exploring their new environment and check this out. I've just dropped a dead baby mouse into the nest. 
the meat ants are swarming it like crazy. This is a perfect example of meat ants' natural scavenging behaviour. In the wild, these ants play a crucial role in the ecosystem. They're opportunistic feeders, taking advantage of any available food source, including dead animals. They'll break down the carcass, which helps recycle nutrients back into the soil. Watch how organised they are. Working together to dismantle the mouse, using their powerful mandibles to cut through the flesh. They'll transport small pieces back to their nest to feed the larvae and other colony members. This teamwork is crucial for their survival. By working together, they can handle prey much larger than themselves, and they can also secure this food quickly before other scavengers find it. I've also just put in some sugar water, and the meat ants are all over it. Check them out. They're super thirsty, and you can see them guzzling it up. This sugar water is a great source of energy for them. They'll share this food source among the colony, transporting it into the main nest to the non-foraging workers. And of course, to Her Majesty Fiona. Okay, now for one of the final steps. Disconnect the old nest completely. It's a little tricky, but I did it as quickly as possible. You just have to pick up a few strays with these featherweight ant tweezers. We do sell these at Antastic if you are after them, and honestly, I use mine all the time. So I'm going to manually move these few stragglers still in the old nest and drop them straight into the outworld. Last step, deliver to my client. Wow, check it out. That is an amazing piece of art. I could watch them all day. And there you have it. The meat ant colony is settling into their new home beautifully. With so much space and a familiar environment, they're bound to thrive and grow even more. Thanks for joining me on this exciting journey of relocating Fiona and her colony. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more ant keeping adventures and tips. Until next time, happy ant keeping.